Joining us from Atlanta is Georgia Congressman Doug Collins. He is the top Republican on the House Judiciary Committee. Congressman, thanks for being here. Your reply to the chairman of your committee wanting to have the attorney general testify. Uh, if my chairman wants to call the attorney general, I'm sure the attorney general would come to the Hill. That's part of what oversight on the Judiciary Committee is. The problem I have with my chairman right now is on several occasions today, it seems to be, he seems to be impugning the integrity of the attorney general and implying that the attorney general was not acting fairly in his own job. That is an, an issue that has been uh, the, probably the more concerning part of today, a day should, which should be good news for Americans, good news to know that there was no collusion, good news to know that there was no obstruction, and that their president, who has been working hard for them, is continuing to do that. That's the concerning part, but that's the good part also for America today. You know, that is the top line of this uh, report, as the Attorney General uh, described from the special counsel's report. Uh, but there is a focus on this obstruction part, as is reported that uh, there was no exoneration, according to the special counsel. What do you make of that and the Attorney General's decision that there is not moving forward an obstruction of justice issue? I make really nothing of it except what's in the letter itself. Let's let the letter speak for itself. Bill Barr, along with the Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein, made that determination after Robert Mueller, who the Democrats, by the way, have been protecting and not talking about and talking about how great of an investigator was and a prosecutor he was. When he came to that conclusion, his own investigators found that they could not come to the reason of charging. They did not uh, charge. They could not. Uh, they said it was a, uh, an area where they were not willing to. So what they did is they didn't decline. What they said is they would just send it on. They did not make a prosecutorial discretion or move. They said, we'll give it to the Attorney General for, for a look at. That's also good news in the sense that most of it, what the letter said, was also public. We will be seeing what went behind the obstruction issue. And I think that is a, a good thing for America. And I think it's also something that we allow to see that when we look at it, at the end of the day, this was following the law. Bill Barr has done everything by the book. And there's no reason to question that he would not continue to do so by the book. The president on the tarmac from Florida said that uh, this was a total exoneration. He also said he hopes that people will start looking into the other side, how all of this started, and he said it was an illegal takedown. There are people, Congressman, who wonder when you had control, Republicans had control, why didn't that part of the investigation uh, move forward? And uh, is it going to going forward? Well, Brett, it did move forward. We had an investigation between the Judiciary Committee and the Oversight Committee, of which, by the way, I've been releasing transcripts of those uh, with Lisa Page and Peter Strzok and Bruce Orr. We want the American people to see how this came. That was the witch hunt. If there was a witch hunt in it, it was between that corrupt triumvirate of Page, Strzok, and McCabe that began this process. And they were there from the beginning in early 16 and following through. We're going to continue to press that case, but also at a certain point in time, we also are going to focus on the fact of also the other things that my uh, friends are across the aisle, the Democrats have been saying, think about what's been saying. Senator Blumenthal, uh, Representative Swalwell, Waters, uh, others who have been jumping on saying, we have plenty of evidences of collusion. We know that collusion exists. And all of these statements now came crashing down in a very thorough investigation by Robert Mueller. My question is from to Adam Schiff, who said just recently, we know that there's collusion. The indictments are probably coming. The collusion is there. Where's the apology, Mr. Schiff? Where's the apology saying there is no collusion? That's what I'd like to know. On this front, the people who want to see that in part of the investigation go forward, they wonder why the FISA documents that originated this entire investigation haven't come out. Do you think they will? I think those are questions that we're asking right now and that Bill Barr has committed in his confirmation hearings to look at that FISA abuse. That was one of the most uh, enlightening parts for the confirmation hearings uh, just a month or so ago with Bill Barr was he was willing, when asked by Senator Graham, would he be willing to look into the FISA abuse and willing to look into the issues that we had found in the House through our investigations? Would he be willing to look into it? And he said yes. And he confirmed that with me as well in a conversation that I've had. So we are looking forward to moving past this and making sure that the American people can trust their Department of Justice. Democrats, Republicans, and Independents need to be aware that at the highest levels of the Department of Justice and the FBI, that justice is blind and doesn't wear a partisan tag. Congressman Collins, we appreciate your time. Brad, it's always good to be with you.